170,000 people picked up along the U.S. border just last month, the migrant crisis is rapidly spinning out of control, and the Biden administration is scrambling to deal with it. And the current plan? Dollars, and lots of them in the form of foreign aid. President Biden wants to try and buy our way out of his border crisis with taxpayer money. The administration is spending $60 million a week and now wants to launch a cash transfer program in Central America. This insults millions of Americans who are out of work in our country. The plan is for billions of dollars to go to Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. Now, it's not exactly clear how this is going to work, but the White House insists it won't be just direct cash payments to potential migrants. The one thing I can promise you is the U.S. government isn't going to be handing out money or checks to people. Let's not forget that back in 2009, the USA worked to topple the government of Honduras, ushering in a decade of instability and chaos. Let's also remember that Guatemala has had various U.S.-backed military regimes. So what exactly led to this stampede toward the U.S. border? The trail goes straight back to the White House. The United States' moral leadership on refugee issues was a point of bipartisan consensus for so many decades when I first got here. We shine the light of lamp on, of liberty on oppressed people. We offered safe havens for those fleeing violence or persecution. And our example pushed other nations to open wide their doors as well. It's not exactly clear what the end goal is, and there's not really a record of success here. Foreign aid to U.S.-aligned regimes in Central America that have free market economies is certainly not a new concept. In fact, the U.S. State Department has been showering the region with money for decades. $750 million was provided to Central American countries between 2014 and 2017. Now, the stated goals of all that foreign aid was roughly the same as what Biden is proposing. And people remained poor, desperate, and they continued fleeing. In 2019, Donald Trump took the dramatic move of halting U.S. aid. So, can we continue to just throw money at a problem and expect it to eventually be solved? Biden will soon be celebrating his 100th day in office, and he's got a major crisis on his hands with no end in sight. Caleb Maupin, RT, New York.